Hello, just like the title says, I want to share some of my experiences and what I went through with my Moon Mahadasha. If you know what Moon Mahadasha is, it's basically a um, time period of a planet, the Dasha, and the currently active ones in the Vedic systems which is depending on your own systems, in Vedic charge, of course. And in this video, I want to share some of my journey with you, share what happened back then and how things have shaped me, shaped my reality. And I think some of you might find this video a bit troubling or hateful after hearing it, but I want to be as honest as I can with you. So it all started back in 2012, 2012. This is when I just entered the Mahadesha itself, which completely altered my life, 150 degrees not being dramatics or anything, but it happened. If you know the system itself of the Mahadasha, I mean, you will understand how it shifting from the sun to the moon period. In my case, I had the best Mahadashas of the sun because it was fun and I basically just enjoyed life. Not in a material sense, but by spending time with friends and doing things that I found enjoyable. That time during uh, the Dasha, the active sons, my Dasha was very nice to me. Even though in terms of like uh, financial matters, I do suffer and some humiliation took place in my school but I don't want to go deep into that but you know now back to the main topic of this moon Mahadasha in my case I have the worst placement in my chart it's in the first house of Aries now you might think that having the moon in the first house is a good Thing because of Mars positions with the moon you know because the, both of them are friendly but truly from my experience alone it was pure hell it was pure hell and me being the moon at Makaraka if you don't know what that means it means basically your soul So the effects of moon is even greater during its Mahadasha for me, for 10 years of it. But it is really like everything just worst. No, because good things did happen, but the bad just outweighed the good itself. And what I experienced from 10 years in Moon Mahadasha, my mental health really badly affected to the point visiting psychiatrics, just like going to gym every week. And not only it affect my mind, but I lost so much opportunities because I was suffering from social anxiety. So there is a lot of isolations in my life, even today. Even though the circumstances not exactly the same, but the isolations still remains to these days. And I guess that's what the trauma do. But it, it's getting better. It will be getting better. You know, like the social anxiety part, it's not really bothering to me anymore. I can just like talk with people if I wanted to, but on the positive side though, it made me 
very strong when it comes to this moon Mahadasha. It made me see in a way I never really understood why it's there. You could say it's a like a great lesson that only can be learned on the heart mode. And that's what my life. But the bad things manifested in a very strong way in in the forms of people. Like a group of friends who bullied me and somehow I also became the bully myself. Even worse, a racist. Again, I want to be as honest as I can be. Am I still the way I was back then? No. And I'm not trying to convince anyone here that I change or anything really. But truly, when you are unhappy, it is reflected outward and because and become a cycle of negativity that seems never ending. And that was me during those years in my worst Mahadashas of the Moon. It's like I hurt people because I hurt myself too much. You know, like I suppose that's the best explanation of it. I just can't explain why, but I know deep down it's cleansing out of a lot of karmic depths. That inner battle and self has you know self hatred that I projected is exactly what this Mahadasha do to me. The way it cleans is harsh, but it shapes me into something that make me stronger as a person. And yes, uh, it affects my mind greatly. The struggle is, it's really tough, you know, like really tough. Like that mental agony, just, it's manifesting, I'd say it's like the worst kind of like scenario. But but here's the thing, I'm I'm done with that pace of my life because the Dasha is already changed, which now the current Mahadasha is Mars. And I'm not saying that Mars is even better for me. That is wrong. Because I do have unfortunately again not the best position for Mars, but this is not the main topic of that. It's just more of like the story of Moon Mahadasha. And it is really challenging experience. So um, if you if you know Mahadasha, if you've been into Vedic astrology or or maybe you are an astrologer yourself and you're hearing this thing well, I just share my experience, and it is really tough. The moon Mahadasha is very tough for me, very tough. It is like the most agonizing Mahadasha, for, for, at least for the mental aspect of it. And, and for 10 years... I spent my time, not only I went to a psychiatric, but I suffered greatly from anxiety, like panic attack and everything. It's just so surreal how it even manifested. But that's how the universe works. That's how you tell when that time is there for you and when that time is, you know, stop. And you can judge that by 
的马哈扎沙。Well, I hope that you guys、um, understand what I'm saying here. But that's my journey. That's that's my story of my moon maha jasha. It is agonizing. It is hard. Listen for my soul, but I learned something from it, and that's what made me I am today. <laughs> 